What is up guys, it's your boy the Dirt Bike Kid back with another video. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing a shop tour, showing you where I work. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay guys, so when you first walk in, this is what it looks like. Uh, but we'll start over here. This is basically the landscaping section. This is, hold on, let me get some light. This is where I keep all my landscaping tools and stuff. Uh, I built these racks, it's just a piece of wood, handle slides onto it. And then I built one right here. It's just two pieces of wood. And then they slide on there. Uh, but yeah, I got some shovels, broom, rake, another rake right there. Uh, then we got some other stuff down here. There's a stick edger that I fixed. I bought it and then fixed it. And then this is my normal weed eater. The one I use all the time. It's a steel FS91R. And then we got steel hedge trimmers. Uh, we got electric hedge trimmers. I don't really use them that much. And we got a backup weed eater. I also don't ever use unless it's my regular weed eater breaks, but that's never, cause it's steel. And then uh, I got two steel leaf blowers. Got another leaf blower right there. Uh, cultivating attachment, which goes onto the edger. Um, got a little sprayer. Just some random stuff. Like some axes and stuff back there. Uh, and then when you, you keep going down here, this is my air compressor I bought from Harbor Freight. Uh, it's actually really good, works really well. It's a 20 gallon, 135 PSI. Um, but yeah, this thing works great. Haven't had it that long, but mm, I'm impressed. For the price, it's well worth it. Uh, then we come over here. I have these made. I drilled holes in them, put all the screwdrivers in them. Uh, those are kind of the screwdrivers I use. And then here's some, these are just random ones. And then right here, there's little screwdrivers. You can go right there. Uh, these are just organizers. I have air tools. Air attachments. Uh, I don't know, some wood pencils, random stuff. Some bits for the drill. And then a bunch of iron keys right here. Uh, and here is just a bunch of carburetor parts, air filters. That's a whole carburetor in there. Pull cord, more carburetors, just random parts. And then we got the tools or not all of them, but a few tools up here. There's some pliers right there. Um, but yeah, these are the bigger tools that aren't powerful, like electric. Um, then got some knives, scissors, random stuff, some hammers, random parts or random stuff, paint openers edger blade and some blades and level or scrapers and levelers and uh yeah and then we got up here i made that just held by chain hold some stuff just for storage then i got this i bought pretty recently it's got an anvil it's a nice vice works very well um the only issue is i didn't think before i drilled the holes I put it right here, but there's no room. So if you want a long pipe, the pipe's gonna hit the wall and then it can't go any farther. If I put it on that end, the pipe would have been able to stretch all the way across there, but it's fine. I don't really use, have to be using pipe that much. So I guess it's fine. Over here, just random parts, screws, nails, bolts. There's some, there's just random stuff, some weight. Lug nut, don't know what that goes to. Uh, 
springs. We got lots of screws. Um, some attachments to uh, drill bit, drill bits. Random hose piece. Uh, I don't know what those are. Some more bolts. But yeah, just random stuff. I think we got some valve caps, valve stems. Then we got another organizer. This one's empty. Got some punches. This go this came off of the engine. Um, then I just bought these, just some Allen keys. Uh, Cause I was tired of having to dig through here to find an Allen key. I didn't know the size. I'd have to dig through and try them until I got the right one. But now I got the size and it's a really nice set, super cheap from Harbor Freight, but uh, yeah. Um, and then we come down here in my drawer. We just have some random stuff. Let me turn this on. Uh, random storage, put random stuff. Toolbox with some more tools, wrenches and stuff. Uh, this is the auto part section or auto stuff. Some oil, uh, cleaners stuff, paint, and then some WD-40, some rubbing alcohol. And this is what I put scrap metal in. Uh, but yes, then we got down here some more paint, more random stuff, jack stands, um, some tape, more paint. But yeah, then we come down here. Uh, I keep the electrical stuff up here. Got my pneumatic air tools, wrenches. Um, I just bought that from Harbor Freight, 10 millimeter uh, sockets. It's a uh, one half, one fourth, and three eighths. And some more sockets right there. More wrenches and extenders for sockets. Uh, more sockets and then some hammers. And then a torque wrench, I just bought that. Um, yeah, I just got those hammers. Random wire strippers. Um, but yeah, here's my drill. Or, well, not mine, but it's Dewalt. Works really good, I had it a long time. It still works really good. Then this is mine. I got this free. Works really well. Uh, I use it like almost every day. It's an amazing tool. Um, but yeah. Then in this cabinet, we got some more power tools, uh, Dremel, sanders, drills, grinders, or side grinders. Um, some more stuff, grinder, some staplers, some Dremel accessories, and this is uh, Cobalt um, Impact, works really well, very powerful. More stuff, like some drill bits, more drill bits, screws, um, Sawzall, I know that's, that's a Sawzall back there, Milwaukee, and then this is another saw. Um, some welding stuff in there. Uh, those are grinder accessories in that green case. But uh, yeah. Then we come over here. Got some golf stuff, lots of fishing stuff. Um, some gas cans. Uh, it's kind of just random stuff. Some fishing nets up there. We've got all, these are all the fishing poles. And then we got more up in the ceiling. And then we open this. And we just have random stuff. Uh, some propane tanks, some gloves. Uh, this is a knife that I just built. Made it from scratch. Made the handle too. It's not super sharp, but it's pretty cool. First knife I've ever built. Um, then we got some more uh, these are electricity, like, pieces, some screws, a tapper set, tapping set, some more screwdrivers, 
random air filters, dirt bike helmet, motorcycle helmet, random junk, another dirt bike helmet, and then my two welding helmets, some light bulbs, birdhouse, I don't know, I think those are bean bags to a cornhole set, random stuff down here, air hose, uh, oil, and then rain. Then we come over here. These are my, not all of them are mine, but these are the chainsaws. This one's mine. It's a little pull in, another pull in, steel, then craftsman. That craftsman is, uh, I think it's 24 inch. It's huge. It doesn't run great. There's some problems. I've been working on it, but it runs a little bit. And then we've got my welder. It's like the cheapest welder you can buy, but it works so good. I've done really good welding with it, welded trailers and lots of stuff. You got a pressure washer. Don't use that a ton, but works really good. Then I got my push mower for my landscaping business. Um, I got my other mower outside, but this is a push mower. Got another push mower that runs, all of these run. Just push my right there. Um, yeah. Then we got camping stuff. We got some fishing tackle boxes full of stuff. Uh, a saw, random junk punching bag. Then over here we got some more stuff like uh, clips and stuff. Um, but yeah, here's another vice. I don't use that, but it's there. Then we come over here. There's some wood. I made this table and then there's wood under it. I just stored the wood under there. We got old lawnmower engine, a little small engine, some gas cans, more just junk that I throw up there. And yeah, that's about it in here. And then we obviously have the dirt bike. Super clean right now. I haven't ridden it in a while. It's been so rainy at my house. Needs a new back tire. The back tire is pretty bald, but yeah. I just completely like took it apart and cleaned it. Redid, or like cleaned the entire thing. It looks very nice right now. The rims are super shiny. But yeah, here's my other helmet. Um, yeah, this thing, I've had it a while, a few years, but it's it's great. Runs great. It starts up first kick. Um, yeah. Then we got my lawnmower. Currently does not run, but it's a good lawnmower. I like it. Come over here. Got a log splitter lawnmower trailer that I built from scratch. I had the frame and then I just built it through some big old lawnmower tires on it. Um, got some lawnmowers. Flag I built gear skulls, old wrenches, just random stuff up here. Some deer stands, climbing stands. More deer skulls, and then, uh, yeah. That is it for today's video. Hope you enjoy. I know it's different. I know I haven't ridden the dirt bike in a while, but hopefully videos will be coming soon. But yeah, this is my workshop. This is where I work. It's not too big, but of uh, I get lots of stuff and then I try to make storage, get random stuff. I put a lot of stuff up here. But yeah, I do lots of work in here. And it's a great workshop. I just installed these new cabinets. They used to be, it used to just be two by fours all along, or a few two by fours, one in, on the end, one in the middle, one on the other end. And then a just flat piece of wood. But then I got these super nice cabinets and that countertop works great. Um, but yeah, hopefully videos come soon of the dirt bike and uh, that's it for today. Peace.